Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is now the fourth episode in my Sims career build challenge, which is a challenge that I first saw done by Dr. Ashley, where you take the real life salary of a career that's in the Sims and you make a house for someone who works in that career using their real life salary. Now I'm from the UK, so I'm doing the British version, which is significantly smaller budgets than the American version. So you may be wondering why there are already two houses on this lot, and that's because this is a three-part series of the education career. I wasn't quite sure what to do for the education career, but if you think teacher, the average salary for a teacher in the UK is just under £19,000 a year, which is the first house, the one on the far left. That's a tiny budget. So I wanted to do different types of education career. So we had the lecturer, which off the top of my head, it was like 36,000. And then now I'm on to professor. Now, in the UK, the average salary of a professor is £80,128. Don't ask me what the difference is between a lecturer and professor because I don't really know. I guess it's maybe the qualifications. Like, do you have to be a doctor to be a professor? Maybe, and that's why, like, you get more money. It is significantly more money. So you can go and watch those other videos if you like, but all I'll say is I found it so hard to stick under budget with the teacher one, and then with the lecturer one, I felt like I had way too much money. So for this one, I think I was overambitious. I'm picturing this as the end terraced house, which is why it's wider. Um, you can imagine that they've had the garden space to the side, which they've converted into extra space. So you see that the part on the left of the house is the same as the other terraced houses on the street, which will be quite common. And then here is where they've added the garage and the kitchen, and then it's actually gone into the upstairs extension. So it's a lot of extension work done, which is probably not realistic, but I really wanted these three builds to be a row of terraced houses because I wanted to show the difference between the different salaries within the education career. So onto the story of who the people are who live in this house. I'm picturing that there are two adults. The other houses only have one adult. Now, <laughs> I have just done it with the, sing the budget of a single salary, but in my mind, both of the parents are within the education career. Maybe only one of them is a professor, but they are both in the education career. I think I've shown this from the interior, but they have a lot of education-y things like um, a study. And then I also picture them having two children. I've made the children about 11, 12. There's a boy and a girl, very similar in age, but I don't imagine them being twins. Now, the daughter is a lot more good. She's studious, you know, this is what her parents wanted. They're in education. I assume whoever is the lecturer is a lecturer of science. I'm not sure what science, but science nonetheless. And then maybe the other parent is just a teacher, maybe in a high school or something. So both of them want their kids to be very good at school and the daughter is this golden child. Now the son, however, he's a little bit rebellious. He's more into his sport, but I will talk more about that when we get onto their bedrooms. In the previous builds I did, I kind of built the shell, you know, the absolute necessities, built the interior, and then went back to the garden and used what I had left on the garden. But because I was feeling really cocky with my 80,000 simoleon budget, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do the garden exactly how I want it, and then move on to the interior. I think it also makes it a little bit easier for viewing purposes rather than chopping and changing between them. So I'm now on the back garden and this has also been renovated. You know, they've had this small garden, it was probably just grass and they've added a fire pit and a little patio area. I wanted something for the kids to play on, which is why I got the basketball hoop, but I do actually end up getting rid of that because um, spoilers, I use up all of my budget, so I end up selling that to make more money for other bits for the interior. But to be fair, looking back, it, it doesn't really make sense because there's not enough space in this garden for a basketball court. Now, terrace houses do tend to have really small gardens. I do think that realistically, if you were a lecturer, you wouldn't live in a terrace house with a tiny garden. But... The reasoning behind this, this is my storytelling reasoning. So 
the parent wasn't always a professor. Maybe they were both teachers. And as we've seen from the first building, teachers do not make much money. But one of the parents was like, right, I really like education, but I want to do more in my field. I don't want to be teaching in high school anymore. So they decided that they were going to move up and become a professor. So the parents have actually lived in this house ever since, like, you know, they moved in. It's their first house together. And rather than moving out they've decided that they would have an extension you know they love the area so much but because one of the parents was now earning so much more they could afford to add the extension so that's what they did they added the extension so now i'm onto the front garden and i decided to add loads of gnomes it really doesn't make sense with the storytelling not that like you have to be a specific type of person to have gnomes but there's nothing about their career that says they should be into gnomes but i saw these gnomes I thought, you know what? These parents love gnomes. They're just they're just quirky like that. So their front garden becomes a little gnome shelter. I just thought cuz I could have done flowers, but I did flowers in the other gardens and it just all looks the same and I wanted something to be different. So that's why I added those gnomes. Anyway, now we're on to the interior and I really struggled. I knew I knew I wanted this to be an office. I knew I wanted it to be a double office, more of like a learning space, which is why it's at the front of the house. It's downstairs. You know, everyone is using it. So it's not just for the parents. The children can use it as well. So I toyed around with these double desks, but it's just not fitting with the bay window. The corner looks a bit weird. I like that bookshelf because it's so thin, but it is really expensive. So I do end up changing that out. I toyed around with this layout for a while and I thought, no, it's just not working. We can't really fit anything else in and it's quite closed off. I wanted the walkway to be free to go through to the living room. It's like a cinema room. So I didn't want anything on that back wall, uh, which meant I ended up having to just completely change the layout of the desks. So I toyed around with the Hamlin face to face and thought that right by the windows worked best. I was really trying to include this chess set but at the end of the day, being studious, it doesn't mean that you need to play chess. Like, I studied a lot in school and, you know, I was really into science and all that. I don't know how to play chess. So I was like, you know, doesn't doesn't need it for the storytelling. Got rid of it and had these two bookshelves. The blue swatch on that bookshelf, I really, really liked. I think it's very family friendly. To me, blue is very family friendly. It just reminds me of like, you know, your stereotypical one boy, one girl family i don't know why because it doesn't really make sense maybe it's just what i see on american tv shows but the blue it becomes a theme in this house we've got the matching blue walls and we end up with a lot of blue here and there i pulled out all this clutter and i'm just cluttering up the bookshelves it's very messy very disorganized because they're in the education career they are too busy working for tidying so everything's just out everywhere one thing i have completely forgot to mention though is that i have included the learning machine so for this house with it being a professor's house i really wanted to have the learning machine oh God, is it is it learning machine it's like a research machine uh so you can level up your research and development scale which is what you need to be a lecturer using that machine so i really wanted to include it it's like twelve thousand five hundred. it's a big chunk of the budget but i thought you know they're very serious about their career they are gonna have this machine now i'm just tying in the two rooms so the study room going into the living room which is actually at the back of the house with this rug i used the tool mod to make it the perfect size and then this is why i've been calling it a cinema room we have this massive tv like these guys are rich so they're gonna splash out yes they are studious and they like their studying but they need a little home cinema for when they want to relax so i just make this into like a little family room there's not much in this room not much clutter Usually in the most lived in spaces in my build, I will clutter them up, but I imagine that this is kept clean and tidy and they don't use it all the time. They tend to be in the study, which is really cluttered and messy. Whereas this room with the speaker system and everything um, is a lot tidier. 
So part of their extension is a garage, which I think makes so much sense. If you're going to have an extension, a garage is the easiest thing to make in an extension. I have added a car in there, which is a debug item, which is kind of cheating because it's a budget challenge. But if I had to pay for it, I would just not have it and then say, oh, the car's out at the moment. So anyway, I'm also adding their little pet hamster. I feel like every family of four needs a pet of some description, but I didn't want them to have a cat or a dog. So I just added the hamster in there, which I don't know if that's common for keeping them in the garage, but I had a friend who they had rabbit and a hamster and they were all kept in their little garage extension. I'm then going to finish off the downstairs area with the kitchen slash laundry room. So I initially have the laundry room separate from the kitchen, but it was bothering me that I couldn't see into it. Realistically, you would have a second room and it would be fine, but I just wanted to be able to see this little laundry section. So I opened up the wall and just had it more visible. And here I am just cluttering up the laundry shelf. I want something like this in my house. We currently have a tiny little understairs cupboard, which just has a washing machine and some drying rack. I mean, we, we put our stuff on top of the washing machines, but I've put a tumble dryer on top of that washing machine. Um, onto the kitchen, this is part of the extension. So I wanted to make it look really modern, really clean. Whereas the rest of the house with the wall panel in looks a little bit older. I've matched the hardwood floor to the countertops, which are very simple. I think, you know, simple kitchens with white walls are quite in right now. It depends on your style. I prefer like a cottage core kitchen, but I do see a lot of these new builds with very clean looking kitchens. And then I've put in the smeg fridge. I don't know if anyone else sees this as the smeg fridge. It's one of the cheapest fridges, but it's a smeg fridge. It literally has four letters on the front. Like you can't tell me that's not a smeg fridge. So it actually looks more expensive than it is because in real life, Smoke fridges are expensive. Again, I keep the kitchen quite simple. They don't have a dining table, but they have this little bar seating area on the island. I add a little bit of wall decoration because, you know, they are a family of four. They, they need their calendar to keep up to date with all the, you know, the after school activities and stuff. But the kitchen is relatively clean. That is something that they do keep clean. Moving on to the upstairs, I'm starting with the teenage girl's room. So I picture her about like 12, 13, and she's the older child and she is the golden child, as I mentioned earlier. She's very studious, she does as she's told and she does very well in school. I wanted to make her bedroom a little bit nerdy, but the nerdy stuff was very like gamery and kind of cyberpunk-esque rather than your classic teenage girl nerd. I do add in like the robot, the science project, and I add in some nerdiness with the posters, but it's still just, you know, a 12 year old girl's pink bedroom. I make sure this bedroom is neat and tidy because not only is she studious, she's good at home. And I give her a little fish because she can be responsible enough to look after a fish in her bedroom. There isn't actually a fish in there at the moment. You do need to populate that fish tank. But yeah, I imagine that, you know, she gets she gets a fish because she's responsible, whereas her brother, he does not have a pet. So I just rearranged this room a little bit just to make it all fit in a bit better. But again, this is quite a, a simple bedroom. I'm starting to panic a little bit about the budget. I started with 80,000 and now I'm on 15,000 and I've still got two bedrooms and two bathrooms left to do. So... I start to wonder if maybe I have made a mistake. I'm just setting in the final details for the girls' bedroom and then I pick a, a nice, cute wallpaper. Moving on to the boys' bedroom. So I try and make it not look like a grown-up boy with the dark colours. It seems more like a 16-year-old boy, which is why I went for the child's desk because I'm picturing him to be about 11. I've given this boy a telly in his room because even though he's a little bit naughty, he's still very spoilt. So he would want a TV, so he would get a TV. I try to find a games console, but they are expensive. And as I just said, we are struggling with the budget. I had in some posters, you know, young boy posters, but they're all messy. His room is very messy. He's drawn on the walls. He's not put his laundry away. He's just left his CDs and his, his game console thing out on the side. He's not well behaved. Um, he still loved though, which is why he gets the TV. 
I just picture him being a little bit rebellious, you know, he doesn't want to do what his parents says, he doesn't want to do the same as his older sister. So I have actually cut out the ensuite bathroom, it's just a tiny two by two bathroom. It's just the same style as the main family bathroom, which I think I did the, the family bathroom a bit too big. This is very large space for a bathroom, I don't know about you, but I have never had a bathroom this big. And I started trying to make this bath shower situation because I don't like any of the shower baths that we have in the sims I mean I don't have all the expansion packs so there may be other ones which are better but I just didn't use up enough space so I've actually had a shower separate to the bath and I think this space has been used quite well in the end it doesn't look too big I had a little bit of clutter, a little bit of plants, just to like make the space feel a little bit smaller. I think overall I did all right. And finally, the parents' bedroom, which I struggle with so much because this is on the old side of the house. So I wanted to keep it like they haven't had it redone, like the rest of the house is really modern. So I've gone with this wallpaper and then I've made the built-in wardrobes match. And then this is when I had to change the bed. So I'm happy with this. The browns, you know, they're professors. But for some reason, I think that like education, like teachers and stuff, they like brown. They're brown and they're boring. Maybe this is me just <laughs> being a bit rude. But to me, this screams teacher. I've added this matching cabinet with the, the dresser, which I really love that they match because... It's tied in the whole bedroom together, which is something I was struggling to do. I add in a rug and I don't really have much money to do any of the cluttering because I think it, I spent all my money on that learning machine. Uh, it's fine though. It's fine. It looks good overall. So yeah, the parents don't spend much time in their bedroom. They're too busy downstairs in the office. I've added a tiny bit of clutter just to make it look a little bit more lived in. But yeah, this is the bedroom done really. With my final like 700 simoleons, I'm trying to clutter up the landing, which is just impossible. I want a console table because there's this big open space underneath the window and you just need somewhere to just chuck all your bits and bobs. So this is like the bits and bobs desk. I know it's a laundry desk, but a laundry desk, a laundry console table, but you know, they can put anything in those baskets. Um... I've added this little piece of art just because it's the biggest thing that takes up the space. And then I'm out of money. So I go to the garden and I pick some cheaper chairs. I don't need really expensive chairs. Those chairs are actually nicer. I'm happy I found those. And I sold the basketball hoop. So the basketball hoop was like 500 smolians, which has really cleared up a lot of budget. And then I can add in the radiators, making it look very British. This understairs space is perfect for some storage. So I just put some boxes in there. I'm going to leave you with the screenshots for this build. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like me to build next. I will pop the information of this build in the description. I will post the full three houses and this individual house separately. So if you want to play with the three terrace houses, I have made them into a rental property. If you'd like to see Sims gameplay, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I also play a little bit of Skyrim if that's something you're into. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next build.